Hey, 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 everybody. It's me, Casius, and we're back for some more Clock Tower 3. As you can see, we're in a bit of a predicament here. We're just outside the piano hall. We've got the Hammer Brother on our tail, and uh, we've refilled our... Uh, our vial, or holy water, whatever you call it. And we're going to try and figure out what to do with the pliers, which I think I remember there's a thing in the tailor shop that was all barged up or um, sealed off in the basement area, so we're going to try and go there. So let's see if we can knock this guy out and run away. We don't need a refill. We're good. Yeah, take that. Get out of here. Run, 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 run. Don't mess with the butterfly. Get out of here, you little butterfly bastard. Oh, crap. That's that's a thing. No, no. Why are there two of you? Who made you? Let us go in the tailor shop. Oh, just take a hike, butterfly. Annoying little bastards. Okay, so upstairs. Here he comes. Alisa. Does he know we're here? Yep, now he knows. Keep going. Go in here. Go this way, down the stairs, keep running, past all the blood for more little girl got killed, which is pretty surprising. Down here. Around the table. Here we are. Sealed off with barbed wire. Use the pliers. Yes! Ha ha! Let's do it! I'm glad we had time to cut that while he's chasing us. But I'm not really excited about what we're going to find in here. Oh, the music stopped, so I guess it's not a bad, not a bad place. There's a fire roaring in the corner, and a music box. Oh no, just a photo box. Hey, it's the little girl who couldn't play the piano. tell you something important. What was Daddy's that? going off to war. Oh no, Daddy. Ooh. I hate the thought of leaving you here all alone. Why is the screen That's so white? I'll be alright. But, but what about you? You'll miss me and be sad when you're in war, won't you? Now because you suck at the piano. Yes, yes I will. You're the most precious thing to me in the whole world. But don't worry. Daddy, don't forget the piano concourse is on Christmas Eve. The winner will have their performance aired on the radio. I'll practice really hard and win the contest so that you can hear me when you're out in the wall. They're getting a little too close now. Be wonderful. The competition will be stiff, but if you go to your lessons and practice properly, I'm sure you can do it. I'll practice every day. I've already chosen the piece I'm going to play. Are Listen. they going to start making out now? You told me this watch was a present from Mummy before you got married, remember? I'll play this tune on Christmas Eve, so you can think of Mummy and me. Then it'll be like we're all together again. Great, thanks for making us remember the dead wife. Way to go, little girl. Well, that was fast. Things got tragic quick. Ouch. Oh my god. Wow. That was shocking. Good thing our panic meter didn't go up from having these vivid hallucinations of the past. There's still more inside. Hammer Killer Hanged. September 10, 1941. Robert Morris, 32, the man known as the Hammer Killer, has been hanged. Rumors regarding Morris's death are widespread. One witness reported he was hanging for a very long time, pulling on the straps and making unearthly noises, and blood was oozing through the black cap. The stench was terrible. Some witnesses fainted and were carried out. Morris's first victim, victim was Tony Flanagan, 35, a fellow employee at the Bambury Stonecutting Factory. On 6th of June, 1940, Morris suddenly struck Flanagan on the head with a hammer, killing him instantly. All five workers present kill, were killed in the same manner. 
Morris disappeared thereafter. A string of similar crimes occurred until the time of Morris's arrest on 6 March in Arlington, Hampshire. Morris's victims numbered 12, and no clear motive has been determined. Specialists continue to be baffled by the seemingly abrupt change in his behavior, as well as the extreme violence of his crimes. Radical, dude. Maybe I can save May if I get her father's pocket watch to her. I have to take the pocket watch to the concert hall. What's this? Repellent arrow? Oh, crap. <laughs> Shoot. <laughs> what do we do with the arrow? Is it a key item? Go back. Key item. No. I don't know what it is then. But we got it. So that's cool. We've got one bottle of water left. There's nothing inside. How are we going to get out of here? The guy's going to be waiting for us. Panda must have been used for practicing on. The fact that practicing is spelled with an... S seems weird. I guess because they're British. Don't scare us. Don't jump out. Don't jump out. Don't freaking jump out. Don't do it. Please no. No jump scare. So far so good. Nothing behind the door. Down the stairs. It's way too quiet for this. Okay, we're going outside. So far, so good. Go down. Go down towards the town hall. The town center. Something's not right. It shouldn't be this easy. Something's gonna happen inside the theater. I know it. I can feel it. I feel it in my bones. Well, I'll take an easy save and refill. Anytime. All day, every day, baby. There we go. So now we gotta go in the concert hall. Give her the pocket watch? But she died in the house, so I don't know why we'd have to go and give her the pocket watch to her ghost, because every other person so far we've had to give an item to their corpse. Or the corpse is just where the item needs to be placed because that's where, like, the box is for jewelry or whatever. Ugh. At least it's no jump scare. Alisa. Alisa. <laughs> hey, dude! How's it hanging? Whoa! Why? Why did you kill her? <laughs> <You're next. laughs> but why? Why? Boss battles. Ooh. Move, left analog stick, duck, circle, shoot arrow, triangle, charge arrow, hold down triangle, super attack, hold down triangle button with enemy transfixed, special attack R1 button. What? Where is this coming from? In order to defeat the enemy, Alyssa must transfix it. By hitting the enemy with a charged arrow, hold down triangle, it is possible to fix them to the spot. Several strategically placed chains will transfix the target. Aim so that the chains fan out from the target who should be in the center. While the enemy is transfixed, Alyssa is able to carry out a super attack. It is no easy task, however, to hit the target with the arrow. Watch the enemy's movements closely and wait for your chance. Duck can be used to avoid attacks by certain enemies. It may also cause them to become careless and vulnerable to attack. Press the R1 button to use special arrows such as the repellent arrow in the order in which they were obtained. It is wise to save these weapons for special occasions. I don't really understand this, but we're going to try it out. I have a feeling there's going to be trial and error. Magical girl! Magical girl transform! Oh, that's right. Nancy gave us the holy water thing. The holy water with the boobs. It turns into...
It does a thing. Sledgehammer. Victim 26. Sentence to 486 years. Zero years. Judgment. <laughs> I don't... I... <laughs> Yeah, gotcha. What? If ah, no, no. I don't know what we're doing. Let's go. No. Oh. Thankfully, she doesn't panic now that she's gone super. No. Ah. No. Ah. Take that. Like that. What is he? Whoa. He has a special attack too? Alisa. Ah, God. <laughs> I don't know what we're doing. Let's look around. Maybe there's something on the ground or. Oh! Nope. Take that! I don't think ducking is going to help us do anything against this guy. Because he swings it downward every time. That helped there. Yeah! Yo! Oh, yeah, 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 we did a thing. That do we do. Crap, we used the magical arrow, but I don't know if it was worth it. Yeah! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! This is going well now. Yeah! This, this is our life. I don't even need to look at the screen. I could just do this forever. Oh my god. Oh, I summoned Bahamut! <laughs> And he blew up into a sparkling star. I'm on a lot of drugs right now. We're on a lot of drugs right now. We got the Clover of Love. Oh, and we can carry four... We can carry four Holy Waters now. What's the Clover of Love? Jewel shaped like a clover leaf has strange powers. Hmm. So it's like the Triforce, only stupider. Here we go. I hope that arrow wasn't important. I don't know what it did, but... I guess if we... Keep our last save, just in case. Abominate, here we go. So we'll keep our save one, which has... Uh, the arrow on it, and if need be, we'll I'll go fight him again or something. If someone tells me that the arrow is super important, but I have no idea what it did. Basically, all we had to do was hit him with one charged shot, and then he was stuck there forever. Great news, kiddo. Your dad's dead in the war, and you could never play the piano. Happy ending. Is she finally going to hit the melody? Now that it's all over? Nope. 
Here you go. Here's the melody to remind you of... Your father is dead. There was an explosion. A shell. Hope you feel better. I'm so sorry. Please don't cry. I understand how you feel. No, you don't. I never even knew my father. So you don't know. Soon after I was born. But I love my grandfather just the way you love your father. Keep this watch as a memento of your father and continue to practice the piano as hard as you can. You know that would make him happy. Now she's going to do it. Oh my god. Well, she got healed Thank by the power you. of holy light. Your beautiful playing has brought me back to you. At last, we can be together again. Thank you, Alyssa. Thank you. Thank you. Goodbye, mate. Goodbye, Mr. Norton. Goodbye. Goodbye. Oh my god. <laughs> I have to go. My people need me. And now we're stuck here. Oh. We... We awoke on the bed back in real time. That's not a good thing. We gotta be stuck back in this mansion now. And she's gonna keep looking for her mom despite the horrific things she's just been through. I don't know. You got murdered one time, so probably not. Oh, we can save it here again. That way, in case we die, we don't have to watch that horrible cutscene another time. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, good job. Let's lower this down. Not again. Just leave the mansion. Leave the mansion. Oh! What are you doing here? Who are you, you little no. bastard? What is he doing here? What's <laughs> flailing about? He's like a wacky flailing tube man. Stop with the feet! Phew! I thought I was a goner for sure. <laughs> Long time no see, Alyssa. That I acting. I have seen you since we were in primary school together. It must be three years? What do you think you're doing entering a lady's residence through a window? Yeah, you clout. I'll give you something. Ah, here it is. It's the key to my grandfather's room. Mother Why would you? With her. What are you doing with it? You saw her. When and where? Calm down, calm down. This is today morning, and your mother drove by in her car. This is making me uncomfortable. She said you might come back from boarding school and ask me to hand that key to you if you wasn't back in time. She must have known I'd disobey her and come back here. She must have gone up to meet me. We just missed each other. Uh, Alyssa, you've really changed since I last saw you. I'm going to go and check my grandfather's room. Hey! Well, it looks like you've grown up too, Dennis. Oh, come on! That was then and this is now. Wait a minute, would you? What the hell did I just watch? Dick's room key. We're going to Dick's room. We're going to the Dick's room. Well, I guess we don't have to be afraid of this mansion until we have to fight someone here, but it seems like we're just going to keep going to a room, get teleported back in time, and then uh, solve some big mystery, horrific gruesome death, uh, grisly murders, Rinse and repeat. This is where we went before, and then we fell asleep. Right? Restroom. We're going in. Oh! Oh my god! Oh my god! That scared me! What are you doing in there? I look away for like a split second, and then, oh my gosh! What is this place? Don't look behind you. We're safe. 
As long as we don't, as long as we don't advance anything here, we're safe. We're fine. What a stink! Oh my god! Get out of here! What are we doing? No, 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 no! We never should have opened that. That was a big mistake. No! No! <laughs> Crap! No! Okay. Why did we do that? This is not even the right room. This is a dead end. Is the ghost gonna chase us through the walls? Oh, they have a computer. I didn't even notice. Use that to get on Reddit. Use that to get on the internet and look at the dank memes. There was a picture behind the picture. A picture with slightly more detail to the picture. Uh, start. I was trying to remember which button it was. I was about to splash it with water. Okay. Well, we can't use the key from our inventory. Let's look at the picture, which will let us use the winding key or something. There's another painting stuck under the first one. Yeah, it's got a gold key and a silver key. Clock has stopped ticking. I guess we don't have the winding keys that we need. But really, it looked like we had one of the keys, so maybe you need both of them. Key to grandfather's room. Ah, it looks different than that key. I gotta say, the uh, animators for this game just really went all out during the cutscenes. How crazy can we make them flail? No! No! Piss off, ghost! You don't belong here. Go back in the bathroom. It's locked. Lodges well, won't be coming back for a while. Well, that's not the right room. Uh, downstairs? I guess downstairs. I'm trying to remember. Fill our holy water. Over here? Nothing of interest here, so you can't even go in there. Over here? Okay, we can go in here. We were down here before. I don't remember what was down here. There it is! We found it! There's no nameplate on it, though. Hey, Grandpa, how's your room doing? Ah, you got a bunch of creepy masks and crap in here. Way to go. Thanks a lot, Grandpa. Grandfather. He looks like a creepy dude. It's probably him in the house. Scribbled note. The keys of the mystery of time lie behind you. What could that mean? There are some old books to one side. Book of Entities. Entities have existed in the human realm since Roman days. These beings have been known to possess innocent humans, imbuing them with utter ruthlessness and cruelty, and often driving the possessed to vicious acts of murder. In such cases, executing the murder does not break the circle of evil. The possessed is resurrected to continue its bloodthirsty mission. Those who are thus controlled by entities are known as subordinates. When a subordinate kills a human, they take nourishment from the victim's soul, and their power grows. Subordinates may acquire an infinite amount of power in this manner. If it follows, then, that subordinates are sustained by human misery and suffering. Only certain humans are equipped to fight entities and their subordinates, the Rooters. Rooters, who are always young women in their teens, have been battling against these shadowy enemies for hundreds of years. Their war is likely to continue for many centuries to come. Well, I'm really rooting for those young teen women Rooters. Entities? Rooter. Yeah, R-U-D-E-R. Teenage girls who stand against the forces of darkness. What, did you find anything in there, Alyssa? What's that? Who wrote this? Bring them to me. An entity? Rudas. What's an entity? Metal Rudas. Gear. So it wasn't a dream. I really was. I'm going to look for my mother. You had to look for your mother? But she was in a car, remember? She could be anywhere by now. She's nearby. I just I know. Tell. I just know. What do you mean? It doesn't matter. Just go home. Let me help you. Just the two of us. It'll be like the old days. Just the two that was a long time ago. Well, I might as well help you. There's, there's nothing to do at home. I'm alone in the house until my sister comes back anyway. 
You mean Linda? Go play Isn't video games happy? or something. Yeah. She's working as a nurse at a refugee camp in Africa. In her last letter, she said she won't be back for at least another six months, so I'm free to babysit, walk dogs, look for missing mothers. Okay. You can check upstairs while I look downstairs. Yes, boss. Hey, one more thing. Isn't it your birthday tomorrow? Huh? My birthday? See, even after all this <sighs> time, I still remember. What's the matter? That's why you were supposed to wait. Nothing. Now check upstairs, will you? You can count on me, partner. God, that guy's voice. You can count on me, partner. Oh, boy. What's this switch over here? Looks like Matt used to hang here. So we need to find a mask to put on the wall. Where are we going to find a mask? Somewhere downstairs. I don't know how I feel about this game. It was kind of... It was, it was going well. It was going sort of okay. And then the plot. The plot happened. The plot came in and ruined everything. You're right, that wasn't locked before. Can we go in this door over here now? Now that it might be of interest? Nope. Didn't we say that we were looking downstairs and he was looking upstairs? Nothing of interest here. I... I don't even know what we're... Excuse me, what we're looking for. A mask of some sort, or... Some sort of hint or clue or something. I'm not gonna find anything. Wander around aimlessly. It's locked. TV is still broken. So the current current time, present time, is somewhat like maybe 90s. They don't seem to really have cell phones, but they have a CRT TV and a computer. It's locked. Lodges won't be coming back. Down here was the mother's room. I believe. No, it's the bathroom hallway with the mother's room. Oh my god! Go away! Are we going to find anything in here? Like, what's the point of this? There's nothing in here. Let us out. Go away, ghosty. Don't come back. Oh. Computer on the desk. Wish I had one too. Take it. Your mom's not here. We don't have keys. Work. Stupid clock. Mum must know what's going on. Yeah, that's why she told you not to come over here. Because she knew what was going on. And she had to set all these elaborate things, like the statue for you that would fall and break and give you the holy water, and all these notes and tutorials, and... All this other magical stuff. There's nothing. Nothing upstairs. That door is locked. Can't pick that up. We'll go back in here. This one at the end is locked, isn't it? Yep. Yeah, that one's locked. There's only the grandfather's room. Maybe we can climb one of these things? No. There's, I mean, there's got to be something in here. Something hidden behind the picture frame. There we go. We got him. Now we gotta go all the way back up. Use the winding key on the thing. But, that's gonna be for another episode. We're hitting 30 minutes here, so I think we're gonna call it good. Call it good. Uh, say, um, thanks for stopping by, everyone. We'll see you all next time.
Oh yeah, we gotta stop the recording. That's right. Dude.